I have five Roblox optimization tools and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be evaluating them to see how good they really are from the best to complete trash. These optimization tools are Blast Trap, Hell Trap, Fist Trap, Void Trap, and another tool that I have never heard of but I now know about thanks to my fellow friend XBAPA. Before we use every tool, I'm going to be going into a Roblox game to see what my Roblox is right now. No optimizations, no modifications. Let's get right into it. I got 240 FPS. I'm not going to lie. I have a really good monitor. I have really good specs. This game is really fun. It's pretty low quality but we can definitely make some changes with the roblox bootstraps that we have okay so everything's looking good so far let's use the first tool okay now i have my block trap installed and let me be honest with you guys there is not much specification for what modifications we can make but i'm sure with these other straps there are more specific modifications that we have if i was a low-end pc user that was trying to increase my fps this is what i would do i would go to one x anti using quality disable player shadows disable post processing effects and disable terrain textures also if i was a low-end user which i'm going to be doing this in everybody's instance i would keep Keep my fps at 60 fps this limits the power and it makes sure that i'm not using too much of my cpu power it makes the texture quality zero and then yeah we have the fast flag editor which we can put our own flags in to modify it i will also be doing that with this boom i'll put the fast flags and i'm gonna be saving them right there and let's get right into a game and see what a roblox plays like okay now for the rest of this video i'm gonna be using one of the most cpu intensive roblox games in my opinion at least and it is this call of duty roblox game Oh my gosh, she got shit on. 60 FPS is so bad for you because I don't even have a 60 Hertz monitor. I have a 180 Hertz monitor. Anyways, we are done with Blot Trap. Let me give it a T rating. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Blot Trap has to be one of the most generic Roblox bootstrappers. And everything started off from Blot Trap. So next thing we're gonna be using is Fist Trap, which is basically a second version of Blot Trap. And everybody has been talking about it. It's saying that it might be a virus. So I'm risking my computer safety for you guys. So I'm gonna run this. Okay, thank God it's not a virus. So I'm in Fist Trap and it makes complete sense that it looks exactly like block trap you know it is a fork of block trap but there should be new things in this version compared to block trap okay let me take a look at each thing mod section is the same okay so essentially what all of these options are it's technically everything that block trap gives to us but they're in little sections that make it more convenient and more understanding to deal with hiding gui rendering and graphics okay this this all makes sense i'm not going lie bro since this pool is exactly like block trap i really don't even need to use it i can just give it a tier list rating guys knowing that i put block trap on a generic i want to move it down to meh and i want to put fist trap on generic because fist trap is better than block trap in the sense that it makes things easier to understand but it's literally the same exact thing so now what i'm gonna try out is void trap let's take a look at this oh my gosh the gradient background Oof, amazing oh my gosh lovely 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 allow cross game tele Teleportation modifications. No fast flag editor. I'm, I'm liking the look of this. This actually looks amazing. This looks lovely. This is the thing that I'm really, really looking forward to. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. This looks amazing. I may potentially improve FPS. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use that most definitely, bro. Cause I'm a low-end PC player. We can disable chat, disable voice chat, remove blur effect. We can get the old desktop theme. This is amazing. I'm gonna disable the Roblox built-in ads. This actually might be one of the best tools I'm looking at so far, but we haven't tried it out yet oh my god let me take a look at the graphics and textures setting low end hardware optimizations only works for low end pcs i don't have a low end pc so i'm not really going to use that memory probing optimizes memory usage i'm going to use that low poly meshes okay i'm just going to take whatever this is because it's probably all good it's not even bad at all reduce lag spikes oh yeah better packet sending yep no payload limit yep hardcore yep lord replicate i don't know what any of this means but i'm using it yep now we got the miscellaneous fast flags which apparently these are the fun fast flags this fast flag setting section is looking very very, very promising and it might put this up to the really really good section there are global themes too oh my god okay that doesn't even work but who cares hi i'm mostly talking about fast flex so please type fast flex to get some basic fast flex okay sure let's let's type that up guys fast flex okay you need, yes, I do need help with them. Great, here's some useful fast flags you can try. Okay, so this is great. This is an AI chatbot, but I'm thinking it's probably not even AI chat. So anyways, let me stop the app and let's get right into a game. This does feel way better. Um, I can finally crouch properly. I'm telling you guys, I cannot crouch properly. Whenever I try to press the C key in a game like this, it messes up. But uh, yeah, everything's looking good right now. Let me make my graphics uh the lowest. Even better, this game actually doesn't really look half bad with the graphics down as well. I'm gonna get one more killer. We're gonna move on to Hell's Trap and Plex which the fish trap no sorry void trap owner has okay i'm not gonna lie i want to give this tool a really good in hopes of Plexity being the best okay that's the idea if Plexity is the best you know it deserves it i'm gonna keep it at the really good section and yeah let's go on to hell strap now all right guys i have come to unfortunately find out that hell strap is technically just an older version of void strap that puts it in the gutter okay we're just gonna put that in complete trash it's unusable i can't find a download link for it 
and it doesn't work. And that only gives us one more place for the forbidden tool, the new tool, Plexity. I have big expectations for this. You know, it's been hyped up and apparently it's supposed to be the successor of Void Strap, right? As you guys see, it says right here, the best non-block trap fork, Roblox boot trapper. And these are the premium features, boost FPS, block shade support, plugins. Okay, wait, I have never seen a plugins option for a Roblox boot trapper. This is intriguing. I cannot wait to see this. And oh my God, we have it open. This already looks amazing. I am loving this. Oh my gosh. This program looks amazing. I can I have no words. I have no words. Hold on, wait. Let me install a ton of these. Let's install the Plexity icons. Okay, I want to add shaders also. So they have mods in their Discord server. I'm already loving this. I don't want to go too, too deep into this, but this is probably going to be the best thing ever. Um, It tells if, it's, if fast flags are valid or invalid. Amazing stat. We need stats like these. We need things like this. Plugins. Roblox auto clicker. You won't even need to download a macro. You can literally get a macro from this for your video games and you can use it. Oh my gosh. Now, this video just it probably looks like promo oh my gosh I, i'm just glazing too hard i can add my favorite games here if i want to play that a list of fast flags and tweaks i'm loving this we're just gonna make everything the lowest for a fps boost skip high resolution textures okay wait adjust the resolution in games so i can have literally 240p quality in a roblox game with a 1080p monitor i want to boost fps why not go for 144p disable telemetry we don't need that miscellaneous is already the fun stuff that we saw already in void strap i'm gonna save this i'm gonna launch it this looks beautiful this is beautiful amazing oh my gosh we have custom icons in the menu let's go to settings i love this purple color i'm loving this amazing amazing all my captures which i use for my thumbnails on the main channel report section help section great i'm not gonna lie you can definitely play roblox too in quality like this my game is moving smooth wait hold on wait two more kills two more kills two more kills that's it plexity wins the list and this is the tier list of the best roblox optimization tools with hellstrap being complete trash block strap being meh for not having enough customizability this strap being generic for technically being exactly like block trap but a little more in depth void trap being really good it goes more in depth into certain tools that you can use and optimization that you can use and plexity being the best tool i will put a link to every roblox optimization tool in the description if you guys want to see those download those but yeah if you guys do want to see more content like this as well make sure to subscribe i'm gonna be back for more okay peace